Hey YouTube, what's up? Thanks for tuning in. Welcome to part two of my big China Servo video test series. If you didn't see part one, you'll find the link in the description. And in part two, I will check servo number five, the Racer Star DC 6215MG, servo number six, the SPT servo SPT 4412LV. Servo number seven, the DS Servo DS 3218MG, that's the first waterproof servo in this test. And finally, a super strong servo, at least its, spe its specifications say uh, it has a torque of 35 kilograms, the SPT Servo SPT 5435LV with 180 degrees of angle. So let's start. And Servo 5 is the Racer Star DC 6215MG. That's a little bit the faster servo and the upper part of the case is additionally mounted or fixed with two screws. Center part is metal, Phillips head screws and there seems to be no grease inside. <laughs> it does work well. Should be faster as most of the other crawler servos tested in this video series. And at 6 volt it pulled 12.8 kilograms, about 178 ounces inch, 13.75 kilograms, about 191 ounces inch, and 13.7 kilograms, about 190 ounces inch. And because the specifications of this servo are given for 6.6 .6 volt, I also test this servo with 6.6 .6 volt 14.1 kilogram about 196 ounces inch 14.1 kilogram again 196 ounces inch and 14.4 kilogram 199 ounces inch so the results of this servo are not that bad if the specifications are given with 15 kilograms centimeter or 208 ounces inch it nearly made this so number five is the first servo that's quite in its specifications and the amp draw it draws about three amps so you will need a is ESC with the 3 amp PC to get uh, the full power of this servo. A 2 amp PC will be probably too weak to get the power this servo can deliver. Servo number 6 is the SPT servo SPT 4412LV. That's a short body servo, so not meant really for crawlers but more for touring cars specified with. 12 kilograms 167 ounces inch and less than 0 0.1 seconds for 60 degree. The upper case is also mounted with two additional screws. Center is metal and it has a short body. works nicely and at 6 volts through 7.6 kilograms 106 ounces inch and 7.7 .7 kilograms 107 ounces inch and 8 kilograms 112 113 ounces inch so 
far away from 12 kilograms 167 ounces inch and it shows quite a high amp draw. You will need a 3 amp BC for this server or for getting the full power of this server what's a little bit of surprise for me but if you are searching for a low body servo this could be one for you but it's not very strong and servo number seven the DS servo DS 3218MG that's the first waterproof servo in this test you see it has seals and o-rings sealed on the case on both sides it's specified at 6.8 volts for 21.5 kilograms centimeter and nearly 300 ounces inch and should be quite fast there are also o-rings on the screws It should be quite fast, hard to charge here, but it seems not to run very smooth. Don't know if I put the o-ring not well. And at 6 volt it draws. 13.3 kilograms, 185 ounces inch, and 11.5 kilograms, 160 ounces inch, and 11.6 kilograms, 160 ounces inch. And then I also tested it at 6.8 volt because its specifications. 14.6 kilograms, 208 ounces inch. 15 kilograms, 209 ounces inch, and 16 kilograms, 223 ounces inch. So it's also quite far from its specifications. It draws about 3 amps, so we, you will need a strong PC to get the full power of this servo. It's waterproof, quite nicely sealed but it doesn't run that smooth and now servo 8 the by far strongest servo in those tests at least to its specifications the SPT servo SPT 5435 LV 180 35 kilograms centimeter 486 ounces inch at 6 volts that should be quite impressive it's well built and it does also run smoothly no complaint at all but Will it be able to show a torque of 35 kilograms? Twenty five kilograms three hundred fifty four ounces inch, twenty three point six kilograms three hundred twenty eight ounces inch, and twenty five kilograms three hundred fifty two ounces inch. So it is strong, the by far strongest servo tested so far, but it does not reach its specifications. However, it's 25 kilograms, 350 ounces inch, that's really a strong servo. But take a look at the amp draw. 
you will need a really strong PC, so an ESC with a PC delivering more than 3 amps or an external PC to get the full power of this servo. So this was part 2 of my China servo test series. If you didn't see part 1 you will find the link in the description and in part 3, the next part, I will test four further servos including two waterproof servos and two high voltage servos. Those servos will be the SPT 5425LV, the EuroAV WP26 waterproof and high voltage and the RBRC RB0126MG waterproof and the high voltage servo Lobot LD27MG. Thanks for watching guys. I hope to see you in the next video. I'll be back.